Hi, I am Kate McCaw and I'm from the Beehive Cut and Color Bar in Walla Walla, Washington. Um, a little history about myself uh, and our salon. We've been open for 14 years and my mom opened the salon uh, and then I owned it for the last four and then now my sister owns it, but I've worked here for all 14 of those years. So um, anyways, labor of love and uh, I'm excited about R and Co and the possibility of being part of the um, Creative Council, mainly because the Beehive has always operated on education. We are big into education. Being in a small town like Walla Walla, you um, have to really go out and find it and search for it because it's not something that's readily available. So we uh, started carrying Bumble eight years ago and with them came the education. So we've done monthly classes. I've done the network educator program and been a part of teaching those classes. And uh, I'm really excited to get involved in uh, with R and Co. Just because I think that line is so great, and I love Howard and everything he does. And so I'm excited to get to bring that into our salon as well because it's filled a big void that we have been feeling. So um, I should be selected. Why I should be selected? I should be selected to be creative counsel because here in our salon I feel like I have the strongest voice of anybody except for my sister because I have had every job. I've been the receptionist to the esthetician to a hairdresser to a network educator to an owner and then just gave up the network educator to become an instructor at our school, beauty school that we have in the salon and now hopefully part of the creative council. So I feel like I've done everything and so people, the stylists kind of respect me or know that I've been there and done that and I've been the one um, kind of, you know, holding hands throughout the way of speech stylists. So I feel like that's why I would be a good selection for the Beehive. Um, what motivates me is growth any kind of growth, whether it's, you know, just this weekend talking to a new stylist that we have has worked here for two months now, and she made three times more money in her second month being here than she ever made at any of her previous jobs. And that motivates me and inspires me to, you know, keep all these stylists building their own individual careers, as well as as a salon growing. Uh, my sister, the owner now, Kyle, she opened this beauty school inside the salon and watching those girls, you know, from the very first day of their careers to now our first graduating class, any kind of growth, adding R and Co onto our salon and watching, you know, that just take off here. It has been really inspirational, really motivational, and really just watching everything always change has been um, really good for me. Uh, for inspiration, for inspiration, I, as corny as it sounds, I get my inspiration from everywhere. For behind the chair, I definitely, um, other stylists, my fellow stylists, I look and see what they're doing and how I can, you know, tweak that in my own chair and to my own clients, how I can make that work. Everything from my daughter's hair and their you know, six years old, perfect sun-kissed highlights to my horses, to everything, you know, I, I get it from everywhere. As a part of the business side for inspiration, um, other businesses, not just salons, watching, you know, the bar, we have a really cool bar next door to us that is just, you know, the best place in town and watching how they're always changing, always growing, how they can, you know, keep all their customers happy and just, kind of getting tidbits on how to run businesses from other people in other walks of life. Um, so that is where I get my growth. I'm trying to, I don't have the questions written down. So uh, why am I a positive influence in the salon? Like I said, just because I've been here for the whole time, I feel like people do kind of respect me. I've done all the goal setting and the one-on-ones with stylist um have been a part of when we moved locations you know rebuilding here in this new spot four years ago um i've done all of that and so i feel like that's why i would be a positive influence 
Uh, I understand also the with the goal setting the relationship between product and clients and I think that, that that's a big part of it also in you know not only having a good product line but then in selling that to your clients and getting them to trust you that you know what's best for them and you know what's best for their hair and then that's what also gets them building that trust to come back to you you know the whole relationship of that I know and understand that and have really um, tried to wave that flag for the last four years of doing this you know to get people to see that and I feel like they do now and that's been really helpful uh, my favorite Arco product Death Valley I feel like why is it my favorite product because it is above and beyond better than any other dry shampoo that I've ever used um, and when you wash your hair twice a week you need dry shampoo uh, Death Valley by far my favorite product. I don't know. I really like Outer Space too, but I'm going to stick with Death Valley. Okay. And that's it. I hope that answered everybody's questions. Uh, and I'm excited to see where this goes. So thank you.